What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the extension joint push-pull in order to quickly model piping inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you might remember a little while ago, we talked about how to create piping with just like the built-in tools in SketchUp, right? So basically the way that it would work is you would take your, your uh, pipe and then you would just kind of extrude it out. And then what you would do is say you wanted a flange or something like that, you would need to remember to come in here and uh, kind of extrude this out a little bit. So say you had like a four inch flange or something like that, you would have to extrude it to whatever the width of the flange was, and then you could kind of draw a line across here and then kind of continue with your piping, right? And so you might have more or less of those, but basically what it requires you to do is it requires you to kind of like think of where all this stuff is going to go before you actually build your piping, which is fine, but there's other ways that you can go about this where you don't necessarily have to do that. And so in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about some ways we can use the extension joint push pull in order to do this quickly. So what we wanna do is let's go ahead and let's model out our pipe. And I'm just gonna create a simple pipe to start with. So we're gonna say this is a six inch pipe right here, and I'm gonna extrude it the full length, right? Well, now we need to add some flanges in here. There's a few different ways that we could do this, but one easy way to do this would be to select this surface and then just uh, use the move tool in copy mode. So tap that M key, single click and tap control right here. And what I can do is I can split this face up like this. Right, so I've used these faces in order to split this up. Well, then what I could do is I could use the move tool in copy mode and create some more copies of this. So let's say I used an array and created two of these right here. Well, previously what we would have had to do is either hide this and then use the offset tool or, or model this out ahead of time, that kind of thing. But what we wanna do in this situation is we just wanna extrude flanges at all of these. And so with joint push pull, that's really easy to do because you can just select all of the faces that you want, just activate that joint push pull tool right here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna single click, move my mouse and notice what that's gonna do is that's going to create those flanges for me like this. Now, one thing I don't necessarily like about this is it created these in a way that they've merged with this geometry. Right, so if I click in here, notice how these are all just in here as raw geometry. However, if we were to come over here, select all of these, and I'm gonna tap the joint push pull button, and we're gonna make sure that we've tapped the right arrow here for, or the right three arrows for more options. Well, what I wanna do, so I'm gonna click on the option for generate as a group, like this. So now, if I do that, notice how there's little boxes around these. Well, what that means is that means that each one of these is now going to be generated as a group. So it's not actually like merging with this geometry or anything like this. So the cool thing about that is I can now take this and I can use the move tool in copy mode to create copies. So for whatever reason, I wanted this to have two flanges together like this. I could use the move tool in copy mode in order to quickly generate them. And so we could also use that for a more complex pipe like this one, though this one gets a little bit more complicated because what we wanna do is we wanna create flanges um, along all of these and so what that means is that means that I'm gonna to have to come in here and I'm actually going to have to generate these. And I created this with uh, Sketch Plus's pipe tool, um, which means that it does have the ability to really quickly create the piping, but when it's creating the pipe, it doesn't really give me a way to like create the locations of these flanges or anything like that, right? So what I would do in a situation like this one is I would come in here and I would tap the R key to activate the rectangle tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the up arrow key and then I'll tap control to do an about and I'll create my rectangle about center. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to create a rectangle in here that I can then right click on and do an intersect faces with model. And so when I do an intersect faces with model, what that's gonna do is that's gonna split the surface right here. And it's gonna give me the ability to create these flanges again, or it's gonna give me the ability to create the geometry that I'm gonna use to make up these flanges right here. So we're gonna do that over here real quick. And remember, by tapping the control key, you're gonna go into about center mode. That's gonna make this a lot easier um, for placing this on this surface. And so now, what we've done is we've created multiple faces that we can come in here and select like this. And we're gonna use joint push pull to extrude them out like this. So what that's doing is that's allowing me to create all of those different flanges at once inside of this tool. One other thing that's worth noting, by the way, is not only can you use this to create outward flanges, but if you need your pipes to go inward, this tool is gonna be able to do that as well. So say we took a pipe 
like this one, and we had a section in here where we needed it to get narrower, what I could do is I could use the push-pull tool and create new face mode. So tap P, click, tap control, like this. And so I could actually take this whole thing and I could use joint push-pull in order to move this inward like this. And so in this case, we might not want this to create this as a group, so I might toggle that off. One other thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that with your finishing, you wanna make sure that you're only in push-pull mode. You don't wanna be in thicken mode because it's gonna keep that outside face. But notice how I can use this in order to quickly um, create smaller or reduced pieces of piping inside of SketchUp as well. And so remember, that this is not limited to piping. So for example, say that you had a wall like this one and you wanted to create a recess in the wall, you could also use joint push pull to create something like that as well. So notice how I can use this to move this backwards inside of this wall and create this curved recess along the surface. Then you can just erase out this extra geometry and you're good to go. So I'll link to some more tutorials on joint push pull in the comments below this video and on this page, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.